So I might be better off waiting until I've got some natural light, but this is the necklace, so it's just my name. Morning, welcome to the 7th of December. How did I not know what month we're in? Um, I've got my Christmas PJs on. I have got a brown one and I am going to carry on wearing these for most of the day. We have got the heating on, but I can tell it's a little bit crisp and chilly. So I thought, why not have a Monday PJ day in the comfy world? <sighs> These were from Asda a couple of years ago. Um, they're really soft jersey. The other thing is they don't have pockets. I love a pocket in my pyjamas. I have no real need for it, but I do like it as an additional feature. Um, so I'm just about to start work. And that's pretty much all that I am doing today. Obviously, if anything interesting happens, I will bring you along. And I say it and a lot. <clears throat> One thing I will show you is I, we all know I love stationery. Um, and um, one of my favourite things <laughs> about stationery is when you go to Spain, you always get um, like gridded notebooks. And I found this one upstairs nothing exciting oh yeah I lost on my nail polish yesterday um this goodie paper so I'm going to use that as my scrap pad for work which is highly uninteresting but I got this in Lanzarote I think Toro Extra <coughs> Esparel why do I even try and speak Spanish um spiral bound notebook 80 pages I've had it a while and I've used it for various things but I need to get over my keeping things for best, not using things. I need a new scrap pad and a lot of times I do keep, I've, I'm trying to have a notebook for meetings, a notebook for training and then a scrap pad because sometimes they blend into one which is not a bad thing but I do generally keep my meetings <clears throat> a notebook. And I know that I should probably type them on the computer, but even more so now things are on Zoom, um, I'd rather have pen and paper, always pen and paper. So I will, I'm going to go and make a brew and then start work proper and then just see where the day takes us. It's lunchtime now and I'm having some homemade leek and potato soup that I've just put tons of chilli flakes and black pepper in um, and a seeded roll. This is a Paul Hollywood part bake one. We ran out of bread last night so we're on our emergency part bake bread that we we keep in. I just thought I'd do a quick check in before I go for a bath which reminds me we need to open the bath bomb. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of bits that I got today. Um, my necklace that I ordered has arrived. I'll take it off and show you better. But it says my name. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, my name was quite uncommon. Um, and you could never get anything with my name on it. And then I've also got the... Yes, the Chewy Tree Scalp Relief. Um, I'm excited to try that. My head, since I've come back on holiday, my scalp is a bit scaly. Um, I did get loads of bites in my hair while I was away. So I've got that to try. There is a body shot one that I want to try, but it is about £15. And I'm not ready to make that commitment yet. Um, and I also got this brush. These are quite soft but it just feels really nice and relaxing um so i'm going to go and run a bath and i'm going to use one of my new bath bombs brought my kindle up started reading a new book last night in fact I started reading two um, i started reading mistletoes oh no it's not got that mince pie and mistletoe at the christmas market um, which is by Heidi Swain 
and I finally started reading Incomplete, which my friend Chloe wrote. Um, this is a graphic novel. I've never read a graphic novel other than um, last May 19, when last time I saw her, um, she gave me like the first chapter of this um, to read and I loved it. So when she published the book, I bought it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll try and remember to leave a link to where you can buy it. It's not an ad, I bought it myself, she, although she's a friend. Um, but I would highly recommend it if you want to try something new. Um, and she's got a second one out, so as soon as I've read this, I'm going to buy the next one. Right, let's go find the bath bomb and open it. So the other day when I was doing this, I was getting mixed up, so I've actually written on what day of the month it is and what number I should be opening. So we're on the 7th, so I need to find number 4. Ooh. Do we think it's a gingerbread man? Is adorable gingerbread man we might be actually be a bit gingery so I'll do this with the wrong hand but there we go but I think tonight I'm going to use the candy cane or whatever it is, twist a lolly. So I might be better off waiting until I've got some natural light but this is the necklace so it's just my name. Um, I got it on a 22 inch chain and it was from Etsy. I can't remember the seller's name but I will link it down below. Again not an ad, I've just, I was just searching Secret Santa presents and I found it. Um, I think it was about £21 including postage. Postage might have been free actually. Um, I ordered it on the 17th of November and it arrived today on the 7th. Oh, but I just, I just love having something with my name on it. And I've taken it off and I've actually hung it on the necklace rack. But you can sort of see the colour slightly better there. It is the rose gold. I kind of wish I'd have got it in silver. Um, I was tempted to order another one, but it's not. It wasn't cheap. Like most of these necklaces, um, oh, a lot of them are from the next sale. Amazon, birthday present, Primark. Most of them over there from like Dorothy Perkins, but all sale. I don't think anything has been more than a fiver. Morning, welcome to the 8th of December. Um, it's a Tuesday, I believe. Are all the days merging into one or is that just my life? Um, I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm about to start work and I've had to get up early because I needed to re-edit a video. I always talk to you about my editing woes and my New Year's resolution or December resolution was to stop but I'll tell you anyway. Um, last night I sat down, I edited a video, it took me quite a while. I know my editing skills are not great but I was careful, I went through it, I added music, I messed about with the audio, um, I chopped loads of bits down because I just waffled, I went to export the video, went to get a drink, came back and it had gone. The laptop hadn't shut down but the program had and I was just like, where's it gone? 
So sometimes when you reopen things, it asks you if you want to like carry on from where you left off. Clicked, open, nothing. It as if it had never known about it. So luckily, because I have done all the hard work yesterday, <clears throat> knew what I wanted to cut out. I have, in the last half an hour, managed to re-edit that video and it is 17% exported. So, I'm going to leave it to it. I've actually got my laptop next to me. You can probably hear it because it is a noisy little beast. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on with work. I feel like my brew has gone cold. I've been... Oh, it is a bit cold. It's just on that point of being drinkable. No, it isn't. I'm going to put a bop it in the microwave, I think. So... I was trying so hard not to... Um, I've got nothing really to report other than my trauma over my video. It's on 20% now. Right, I'm going to go microwave that brew and then start my work day. Good morning, it's Wednesday the 9th, oh you're very close, um, I've just about to start work and I've just made myself a brew, I don't think I recorded very much yesterday, so obviously that content will be mixed in with this, today I'm just working, I've got no other plans, um, I have been reading a, um, I have been reading a Christmas book over the last few days, I'm about a third of the way through it. It's a Heidi Swain mince pies and mistletoe at the Christmas market. Um, and it's quite funny and I'm enjo really enjoying it. I do like Heidi Swain books. Um, it's... This is the third book. I think it's in a series of, of six. So it's set in a small village. Is it? I don't know. Somewhere down south but not. London, like a countryside place. Um, and the first book is somebody opening a cafe. The second book is somebody, it's called Skylark Farm, so it's set on a farm. And this one is back in the village centre, so it's you've kind of got an overlap of characters, but every book focuses on a different one. So it's probably a year or two years since I've read the other books and bits of it is coming back to me but I kind of feel like I wish I'd read reread the other two first. I don't even know if I've got them but this book centres on Ruby who's, I think she's 21, 22, she's just left uni or dropped out of uni um, and she's back in a village for Christmas and she's helping out on the, a local cafe's market stall and um, the council are kind of trying to derail Christmas plans so the market traders have got, are getting together to um, kind of bring trade back to the Christmas market and 
I think it's a normal market with extra straws on it. I don't know. I kind of got a bit lost in, in that. But it's sweet. The characters are funny and kind of I've kind of like met them before. Um I've kind of met them before so it is kind of coming back to me but the writing style is just is fun, it's enjoyable. The first day I read it I only read 7%, it's on Kindle so I, I know that. And I kind of felt a bit disappointed in myself and I was like, you know, what, what's the point of rushing it? There's no need for me to kind of fire through a book. And then I read 7% the other day and I read a bit yesterday and as I was finishing it I noticed I was on 33% which kind of made me feel a bit better. Um, it's like when I'm on holiday I'll fire through a book in a day, day and a half but obviously I don't have that luxury and normally my reading time would be my commute which is about an hour and a half a day. My commute at the moment is about 30 seconds to a minute um, so I, I, I'm not having that downtime to sit and read um, at work I'd read on lunch but here I could still do that but kind of by the time I've made some lunch sat down spoke to, had a quick chat with my mum emptied the washing machine my 40 minutes are gone so I'm which I'm not bothered about I still get my, my break but I just feel like I don't um I don't have my reading time which I need to make time for and a few times I've sat down on the, the settee at night watching tv and I've been playing games on my phone and I'm like put your phone down and read some of your book and I don't, and I flick. So I'm watching TV, I'm watching YouTube, um, playing games on my phone, and I'm like, just take a sec, read your Kindle for a bit. You've got a giant stack of paper books. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that. I've also put my Christmas jumper on, or one of my Christmas jumpers on today, because I thought every other day at work is like Christmas jumper day at the moment and there was a lunchtime quiz and you could only play if you wear a Christmas jumper uh, and I've come down checked my calendar and it's tomorrow so because I've been wearing my Christmas t-shirts and a lot of them are bright red they're all in the washing basket so I need to go and get changed so I can save this one for tomorrow <sighs> but I can't be bothered I mean I could wear it two days running it's not like I'm gonna I probably still don't it I'm gonna go and get changed in a little bit Yes, I'm messy. A surprise bacon sandwich for lunch and I've undecorated the tree. I wasn't happy with it. But I'm gonna I've put um string on the baubles and I'm gonna put some more of the special ones on it.
dirty little thing, so I have to give it to the dryer. evening uh, it's now about seven ish and i'm gonna end today here i know i haven't filmed much i'm kind of almost purposely not filming much no actually i have filmed a lot i redid my christmas tree which i'm very very happy with now he looks so much better than he did i actually filmed three minutes of the neighbor's cat um i will probably speed that up i kept him to move the camera because he kept moving um but it's been oh is it an odd number day oh can't end it now because i've not opened my advent calendar bath bomb right i'll nip upstairs after and open it but i'm going to say goodbye so i just want to say thank you very much for watching um i really do appreciate these these what what do I appreciate? I appreciate all of you. I appreciate anyone who watches these. Um, so I will say goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. I almost forgot about this. <clears throat> so it's the ninth, so we can open the fifth one. Um, I used the one from number two, which was like the twist on it and I didn't like it. It didn't really smell anything in the bath um, and it made a red made a mess also the other day I was like how can you tell which is a six um, I noticed when I was editing it that I think this one is a six because it looks like a present <coughs> also where is number oh number five aren't we I was looking for number four. Oh, it's this little one. That is a chunky one. Oh, this is in like a satiny bag. Oh, that's cute. There doesn't seem to be any label um, as to what they are. <clears throat> but I like that, that is cute. I was thinking it was going to be like a sprig of holly and like berry and leaves, but no. <clears throat> I still think he is my favourite so far, he's so cute. Uh, my hand is quite powdery so that plastic definitely does <laughs> help. But yeah, I like those. So, two more days and we'll open this one. A bit ripped, oh, ripped it a bit more. Oh, right, okay, let's put that back. So, I know I've already said goodbye once, but I will say it again. I'm really glad I got this. I do like it, and I also like the open me every other day. It potentially helps that we've got the chocolate advent calendar, which I'm alternating with my mum. Um, so I do get something every day. I do kind of wish I had got a beauty advent calendar. But it's just one of those things. Another thing I wanted to mention is I've been trying to be more active on Instagram. Um, I've been running polls and asking like Christmassy questions. If you don't 
follow me over there. Um, I'd love it if you join me. It's seeing spots underscore. The link is always in the down bar and the about me page and everything. Um, don't worry if you're not on that. You know, it's, you don't have to follow me. But it's just I am pretty active on Instagram, Instagram stories, which is something that I used to hate, but now I really enjoy them. Um, it's about 11. Stayed up watching the um, Bobby Peston, Bobby, Robert Peston, but we call him Bobby Preston. Um, so we've been watching that, but not really paying attention to it. Um, but I'm going to read my Kindle for 10 15 minutes. Um, I am really enjoying the book, and I will see you 